All right, we're gonna be trying something a little different today, YouTube. This is my Spiral Legion showcase video. It's funny enough, uh, you know, Vadi Vidya made a video about his builds and this build that he made, a very similar build to this, I really thought it was cool and wanted to try it out. I thought it looked like it could be good for PvP, you know what I mean? even though he was showcasing it for PvE. So, typical Apex fashion, Apex 27 fashion, I waited a little bit too long, and uh, not that it's that big of a deal, but you know, Saint Riot and Rofo, I think it's Rofo the Grim, it might not be, it might, I don't know, it's, but he's Rofo, I watch him. They've both made videos on this already, uh, both using uh, one of the EOK'd weapons. I uh, don't know really how to say that word, but I think a -OK is probably the best sounding version of the way to say it. But anyway, so I decided instead of doing like a one clip at a time or, you know, doing a montage that I would upload, uh, you know, a showcase video of a few different invasions. So instead of using the greatsword version of the a -OK weapons, I'm using the straight sword version. I'll show the stats at the end of the video uh, with the screenshot that I took, but I'm using the this Millicent's Prosthesis Talisman, I'm using the Rotten Wing Sword Talisman, I'm using the Thorned Crack Tier and the Magic Crack Tier, and I'm using the Radagon Sword Seal and the Shard of Alexander. So you know, we, we did that river invasion. So for, uh, I think it's, um, I can't remember the exact, Ainsel River, I think is what it's called. The blue showed up and he thought he was going to get some, but he didn't. Instead he uh, ate dirt and then I got that nice parry on the phantom while the PVE killed the host. Now we're here. You know, we're, we're in the middle of the snow field or whatever. I forget what this exact location is called. It's just some fort of something, probably. We're, we're in the middle of a pretty big scuffle here between some PvE and there's a blue. I wouldn't say I played perfectly here. I definitely fumbled a few chances to kill. And I'll tell you what, something I've learned is that the jumping attack, especially in this particular invasion, the jumping attack is the bane of the AOK weapon arts. Which by the way, for anyone that doesn't understand what I'm saying, AOK is the place that the two spinning spiral swords are from. The greatsword version and the straight sword. I was hoping to get a parry there out of the animation. I'm not even sure if you can parry twin blades or not. I've never parried a twin blade so far. But you know, it's also really funny to me. <laughs> Look at this. Every time I start to engage with the blue, the host is like, no, back off. It's kind of funny to me. It's something I experience a decent amount. You know, you, you, you hear those noises, the the guard break noise or something, you know, or a, a repost noise. Just anything that sounds like it could be death for your buddy. Everyone starts swarming the second they hear it. I'm getting a, a lot of assist here from SMO 2.0 and the crazy old hags. Firebrand hags or whatever they're called. But ultimately, uh, I'm still having to pretty much deal with these guys on my own. So when it comes to the, this character, I, I named him Spiral Legion. And I like the idea of adding like kind of a story to my characters as if they're like an NPC that exists within the world. And um, as you can see, I'm wearing a Karian Knight helmet and I'm wearing uh, the fingerprint chest. Uh, I also have the Errant Sorcerer gauntlets because they have glintstones in them and they're lightweight. And then I'm using the Nomad trousers or whatever from the the salesman that you get. I don't know where the armor set is, I just have it. 
Oh, before I continue with that, I wanted to say this invasion, um, I waited up here for them to proceed. They were clearing out the bottom very thoroughly. And I just, for some reason, I really wanted to fight them up here. I don't know exactly why, but uh, I spent another like good five minutes up on the third level looking for them, making sure they weren't about to run into the boss fight. Because that's usually what I do in dungeons like this, legacy dungeons. I uh, backtrack a little to make sure they're not, you know, looking at the boss, especially this one, because it, it zigzags, it like spirals, funny enough, it spirals. Give a little partial parry here. Yeah, it you know, you go straight and then you turn around, you go upstairs and you turn around and you walk back the other way and then once again up the lift and then you go forward again. So it kind of spirals in on itself and you, you really can't use the compass feature to help you figure out where they are. This was funny, I like dared him to fire that arrow at me because uh, I knew I could parry it. And then I didn't think that would kill him, but it did. And this is one of the main reasons that I show this clip is because this guy disconnects because he doesn't want to fight me alone, I guess. Not, he, maybe not sure that he, he can fight me alone, maybe. I don't know how I missed that, but I do. Uh, and then I, I just hope that maybe I can kill him, like, before he disconnects. Because, you know, that happens sometimes where, like, it's laggy. And, it, and they may not be disconnecting, it might just be, like, a laggy moment. But I don't get the kill, and a few minutes later, I spawn back in. Same guy. Same invasion space. And I'm looking around for him up here because I figured that they disconnected and, you know, would, would spawn back at that second level. So he must be, you know, all the way to the boss by now, right? Nope. Turns out he is still on the first floor, clearing it very thoroughly with his buddy. And uh, this time they have a blue. So, you know, I've sped up the footage here to show you just how much time I had to uh, fool around before they finally made it back up here. Uh, and like I said, they have a blue now. Uh, but funny enough, it's not going to be that much harder to take them down. While I'm doing that though, I was gonna talk about the lore behind my character earlier. And what I was gonna say is, is that uh, the fingerprint um, chest piece, kind of looks like a spiral. The scarf that's on it, the scarf and cape that's on it, kind of block out the, the rest of the fingerprint uh, above the chest. And it just looks like there's like a spiral melted into the chest, right? So I kind of thought it would be cool to um, make this like a subsect of the Karian Knights that exists in world. I thought it would be cool to, they're, they're like more of the top secret Karian Knights who uh, have mastered the AOK weapons and have also figured out maybe how to create more than just the ones that already exist. Look at this guy disconnecting again after both of his phantoms are dead. Doesn't want to fight me at all. Here we have another one where these guys, they don't want to come out of their hole, they don't want to fight me. They don't even uh, fight me when their blue comes, because they do get a blue here. And uh, even the blue is a little bit stand backish for a second until he finally comes in right around here. Yeah, just two, two of these invasions here showing you just how badly some people just don't want to fight, uh, even if you're outnumbered. They don't want to fight you, and I don't understand that because we're playing a game that's considered hard where you're challenging yourself, and you should want the challenge of PvP. And we're going to speed the footage up here again because they're going to continue to just fire arrows at me. They do a little bit of coming out of their hole, but they don't ultimately come out. Uh, they're afraid to step forward past these obelisks. And uh, I don't even really want to bait them into enemies. I just want more space to work with. That's my main thing. I don't like invading in dungeons as much, even legacy dungeons. I prefer to invade in open world areas because I get a lot of space to run around in. And that's kind of how I work through invasions. I, uh, I kind of just like a scrambling quarterback. I know that might not make any sense to anyone 
watching this because not a lot of you probably watch sports, but I'm just like, I just run around in big circles and try to, you know, create space. That's my style of taking out invasion ganks. But back to the lore of the character while I'm taking out this yellow who finally gets brave. A little too brave. Yeah, so they're like a subsect of the Karian Knights who are called the Spiral Legion. And uh, they wear the fingerprint chest and the Karian Knight helm. That's not a must, but the fingerprint chest is kind of a must. And yeah, they just, uh, they, they cast spells. They use the AOK weapons, either one of them. This guy ran for a really long time to go resummon. Really doesn't want to fight me alone. Does a little bit of trying to fight me, but ultimately just ends up running away until his summons get here and his blues. But it's okay because they're gonna all fall one by one again. Um, I was thinking, you know, I'm not a very popular Souls YouTuber just yet. I, uh, I used to be all right in my, my previous title that I was known for, where I got all the subscribers that I have. I'm not very well known in the Souls community just yet. I got a few videos that have hit over 100, 200 views. I got like one or two that are over 300 now, but, you know, I miss the days of like player covenants and stuff, and I know that it's kind of hard to do those here. You know, if anybody wanted to uh, make a spiral mage like this and maybe make their name Spiral Legion and use the fingerprint chest and maybe the Karian Knight Helm, but at least the fingerprint chest and, uh, you know, join my little group of level 90 or whatever level you want to make it, Spiral Legion members, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I'd be pretty happy if I saw someone running around with the name Spiral Legion and uh, fingerprint chest and AOK weapons. You know, and uh, some sorceries. That'd be pretty cool. But, you know, I'm not expecting anything out of that. I did mention to Rofo that I used the fingerprint chest and he, he was like, that's actually some pretty good fashion. I like that choice. So maybe we'll see Rofo wearing a fingerprint chest next time he uses his spiral mage. Also, St. Riot's character isn't a mage, he's like a, if I'm not mistaken, he uses incantations and he's not, you know, not a spiral mage, he's just a prisoner that has the AOK weapon. That's about the, all I have to say about like the character and the lore and how I decided to make this build. Uh, it's funny to me that Vadi Video was able to make a good PvP build with something that he clearly was only intending for PvP. Obviously the spinning weapon, Regal Scepter, isn't very good for PvP. I, as you can see, I don't end up weaving any glint blades into this because they don't, uh, as opposed to PvE, players don't sit around long enough for you to set up two of those and then hit them with the weapon art. And then also take the glint blades you know, if someone was setting those up and getting it off, that'd be cool. I'd love to see a clip of someone landing those, but uh, I have not been able to do it so far. And as you can see, I'm not too bad of a player myself. So sadly with this guy, after taking out three people and one of those three people I get took out twice, uh, I misunderestimate this guy a little. I'm also drained of resources and of energy at this point and I just misunderestimate the jumping attack try to trade with a AOK weapon art like I said the jumping attack is the worst enemy of the AOK weapon arts but yeah I lost that invasion too bad uh, I technically you know I consider invasions like that wins if I've taken out multiple phantoms I'm like you know, obviously that host really needed that help. And I know I would have beaten those guys 1v1 if I ever did I fight them 1v1. So it's enough for me as a win, even if it's not satisfying for viewers. But this guy, however, even though it's one person, 
I really wanted to show this off because um, I try to land some parries. I don't think I've done it yet, but I will. Yeah, right here. Uh, I, I missed two and then I kind of queued up a third one by accident and it made it look like I missed three parries on, in a row. And this guy has the audacity to bring out a buckler, make fun of me for missing parries, then proceed to miss a parry and almost die. Uh, I do fumble that. Oh, he misses another one. I forgot he misses two. Very funny to me. Um, and I'm determined at this point to prove this guy wrong, to make him eat his words, put his foot in his mouth. So I, I, I get a little hasty and I fumble the kill a few times. But you'll see that I eventually... I do eat one of these. I didn't expect him to pull one of those out, make that happen. I was seeing red at this point. As this invasion comes to a close, I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Uh, I had, I'm had i having a lot of fun with this build. Join the Spiral Legion today, and uh, I'll see you next time. This has been Apex27. The stats will be at the end of the video. Adios for now.